Welcome back to the channel, A Twist of Gem. Let's cook, have fun, learn, and most importantly, smile and laugh. I hope you are hungry because I'm going to feed you. Come join me. Hi everyone, welcome back. So if you have heard me talk about breakfast before, then you know how much I love it. It's my favorite meal of the day. So why not share this recipe for French toast for one? It's easy. When I have time, I like to make French toast on a Saturday. It's one of those breakfast weekend meals that just comes out so good. So if you have a little extra time on the weekend, you should try it. Come and I'll show you how to make it. For this recipe, you will need a tablespoon of butter, one egg, half a cup of milk, a few slices of bread, and cinnamon. This recipe actually also required one fourth teaspoon of vanilla and one eighth teaspoon of sugar. I decided not to use the vanilla and sugar, but please feel free to use it if you want. Make sure the bowl you are going to use to make the batter for the French toast is big enough for the bread slices. Add the egg to the bowl and beat. Add the milk and mix. Then add the cinnamon. Add butter to a pan to melt. Then take the bread and dunk it into the batter coating both sides. Cook the bread for a few minutes on medium high, then flip. I like using a cast iron pan because it gets the bread crispy and a little char. Cook and flip a few more times or until your desired doneness. And that's it. Add some butter, then drench the French toast in syrup, then it's time to eat. 
French toast and pancakes on a Saturday bring back memories. My mom had this old school griddle when I was young and she would make the best pancakes and French toast on the griddle for me and my brothers. Let me know what do you love for breakfast on a lazy Saturday morning afternoon. And until the next time, enjoy. Peace from a twist of gem. Did you know there are different grades of maple syrup? It ranges from golden to amber to dark and to very dark. The golden and amber syrups are produced during the first half of the tapping season and are lighter in color with a delicate taste. The darker grades are collected at the end of the harvest and are stronger in flavor. The golden is suggested for French toast or to pour over granola. The amber is for pancakes or mixed into cocktails. The dark can be used for marinating meats or stirring into sauces. And the very dark can be used to make ice cream.